Hey everybody, guess who? I know, it's a miracle. Happy New Year. It's a New Year's Eve special edition of Cooking with Kitty. Excuse me. I know I've been gone a while and I don't really know why, but um, I mean, mostly because I can't really get into my own kitchen because somebody else has taken over. But that's no excuse now, is it? New Year's, new resolutions. I'm going to get back into my kitchen and cook, and you're going to be cooking with Kitty. All right. I know we've done an episode like this before way back in the beginning of the archives, but you know, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going to a New Year's Eve party, so I thought we would revisit our old friend, Spinach Dip. What you need? You need your Norse vegetable soup mix. I know it seems a little confusing because we're making spinach dip, and this doesn't say, you know, spinach on it, but it's vegetable soup mix. The um, recipe is right on the back, folks, so it's pretty easy, but I'm just going to show you how I do it and how I learned it from my mother. So you take your uh, frozen spinach. I get this at Pavilions, Safeway Select. Sometimes you can get it for 99 cents, believe it or not. Really cheap. You let that thaw in the refrigerator overnight, hot water. Then you want to squeeze out all of the excess juice, water, and then you have it here in your bowl. Now, on the package, it says to cook the spinach. I don't really think that's necessary. It all comes out the same. It's going to be cold anyway. This is the way I've always done it. You can do it the way you like, but anyway, spinach. Then you need a cup of mayonnaise. I've already got it measured out here. Good old mayonnaise. I get this. This is also Signature Select. It's the generic brand at Pavilions, just like Hellman's. I get the olive oil version. Um, that's good. So a whole cup of mayo into your spinach, and you can kind of scrape through that. You get the idea. And you need a whole 16 ounces of sour cream. This is also from Pavilions, and I get whatever's on special. Uh, this is Lucerne, I think, or I can't even see. Anyway, oh no, I'm sorry, this is, I'm lying. This is from Trader Joe's, $1.79, that's right. I've got it at Trader Joe's. But I usually can get it for under $2, either Trader Joe's or Pavilions, whichever one they're featuring at Pavilions on your Just For You uh, club card. And then you take your magic ingredients of the vegetable soup mix. This is where you're going to get all your flavor. Little mini kind of carrots and things in there. Mm. You add that. Now the, the big secret agreement, agree, ugh, ingredient that not everybody adds, but I like water chestnuts. It gives it that extra crunch. These I buy, whoops, they're already sliced, but I like them to be a little bit more choppy. And normally, I would put this in my food processor and go zzz, zzz, but then you have more dishes to clean. So sometimes I just kind of stab it right in the can. I think I probably did this in the last episode, too. But, um, but I'm going to actually be generous and let people have some big chunks because it really is very good. Add that in there. And then what I used to never add when I was younger it was green onions, but green onions are good. These are from the 99 cent store. Already chopped. Going to add that. To my mix here, and then really, that's it. You mix it all together till it's all blended, and then after that, you're supposed to let it chill for a couple hours in the fridge. I myself uh, can never be that patient, so of course I always start tasting it. So I'm gonna pause right here, and I'll be back to show you how it looks when it's all presented. Thanks, Happy New Year! Hey everybody, we're back and look who showed up! You remember Hi. our new friend Cherry Bly? She's been in a couple episodes. We're gonna do some more episodes in the new year. She has just stopped by. By the way, Happy New Year! It's Happy already New, new year. Year's in East Coast. Woo! Woo! Happy New Year in Ohio, where I'm from, and it's already been New Year in England. At four o'clock. Okay, yeah, so we're a little late <laughs> to the game, but we get to make it last longer. So I promised I would show you my finished product, and we're gonna have our friend Cherry give it a taste. Can you see that? I will have some pictures on Instagram and on my Facebook page. But it's it looks amazing. my famous spinach dip. I like to eat it myself with these pita chips. I'm going to pop the cork. Oh, Are you ready? Okay. Get ready. Careful. <laughs> oh, cock it out. Or was that what he said? <laughs> That's well, I don't know what he said. Stuck. Okay. Do we need to take a commercial break? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, that was real. Authentic. Happy okay. New Year! Happy New Year! Okay. By the way, these are the pita chips I use from Trader Joe's. Okay. Oh Anywho, 
Uh, why don't you give it a taste, uh, ah, Cherry? Then I will explain what else I've done on our kuchamaro, kutamaro, whatever we call it. Uh, uh, pita chip. And dip. a spinach dip. And I garnished it with a couple little spinach leaves, you know, just for flair. And, you know, like I said, it's supposed to chill for two hours. But you know what? It's still just as good. Mm. Really good. good. Mm -hmm. And then I just threw a little plate together here, you know, for our pre-party party. Something I whipped uh, up earlier. Something I whipped up earlier. I got some crackers, water crackers. Those were actually on sale, $1.99 pavilions. Some of this cheese I like to get. It's the English cheddar. I get it from Trader Joe's. It's kind okay. of strong, but it crump. It falls apart very easily, though. It's not that good. I mean, it's good, but it's hard to cut. <laughs> And look, people, uh, in my Thanksgiving edition that I did not do, but I made my own cranberry sauce. Usually Trader Joe's carries their fresh. I heard it's really good. But I saw some fresh cranberries, and looky-loo here, I made it. You just boil it with a little bit of water and a little bit of sugar, but it's not too sweet. Because when I have my brie en croque, or my brie with my cheese, I like a little, you know, something sweet. And you can use jam. We just threw our jam away because it was moldy. So uh, I made this today fresh cranberry sauce. Where's my knife? Here's one I made oh. earlier. Oh, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry if I have my back and my, my hair looks funky from the side. All right, everybody. Well, we wish you a happy, happy new year. And as promised, our new year's resolution is to do more cooking with kitty shows. Yeah. I explained to them that I can't get in my own kitchen because somebody has taken over. But, um, again, I'd still like to take it on the road, you know. And, Jeff, I haven't forgotten about you and Jamie and all the other people that said they wanted to do a show. So, keep me, hold me to it. All right, let's have a little sip of the bubbly. Cheers. Mm. All right. See you on the Sunset Strip, yo. Bye.